Hey, what's up, guys? This is Game Guy, and I am bringing you a new Modern Warfare 3 uh, gameplay. Today, I want to be talking about Call of Duty ideas that would change uh, the COD franchise. Um, obviously, a lot of people hate Call of Duty. I don't know why. I think it's a very entertaining game, and you know, it's very fun to play for me and a lot of other people too. But there's, you know, Battlefield fanboys and people out there like that that just want to hate on the game. And they don't give it a chance, really. I mean, sure, there are bad things uh, going on with the servers a lot. Um, hackers, people just messing everything up, you know, the experience for other players. And that goes on in almost every game. You know, I'm a fan of the Pokemon games, and I play those, and people hack to get their Pokemon unbeatable and then they play online to beat everyone else and you know it sucks I don't like people that hack and stuff like that but I have a couple or you know a lot of ideas that could change the Call of Duty franchise forever you know if Infinity Ward, Treyarch or Activision those people ever see anything you know see my ideas maybe they will you know make some changes if this, if this video gets big enough so okay here we go uh, I'd like to see an enhanced version of combat training. Um, I've seen combat training in Black Ops, and it's really fun. You know, you get to play against AI players, your friends, and uh, I'm not sure if they actually mimic how the players, you know, your friends play, but that would be a great addition to combat training, where they actually mimic the way your friends play when you do that. But I also wanted to see some new features like a time travel mode on a combat training. Now it kind of sounds weird when I first say this, but I'd like to, you know, play a match of like, let's say, team deathmatch, and then after I play that match, I do bad or something, and then I'm like, okay, I want to go see what I did wrong. I can look at it in theater mode and be like, okay, there, here's some things I did wrong, and then I could go to combat training. And, you know, it's called time travel. I go to time, uh, time travel and replay that match that I played online, you know, a couple of seconds ago before I looked at uh, theater mode. And basically what this feature does, you know, that I came up with is that you play the uh, recent match that you played and all of the enemies do the exact same thing they did while you were playing them, you know, in live, like on multiplayer. So the players are running around doing the same exact routes, and they're going to shoot at you, you know, the same way they did, but you have a chance to kill them before they kill you and change your score around. But it's not like a permanent thing. It's just to get practice and, you know, I guess go over what you did wrong and correct your mistakes, and it would help you become a better player. So I think that would be a, another awesome idea for combat training. Um... Another one I have is player routes slash hotspots. You get to learn the best spots and things, you know, to be dominant, like the high traffic areas. Let's say there's a dock or something over on one of the maps, and you you see like a red area right there. You know, you know that a lot of players are there. You know, that's where most of the combat takes place. Um, you get to see the routes that you know the players take the most. All that kind of cool information where all the campers camp and <laughs> stuff like that. And it'd help you become a better player. You'd be more alert going around corners. You would see a lot more things like that to become a great player. And I think that would be an excellent addition to the Call of Duty franchise. Um, on with creative game modes. I'd like to see some more game modes added in. You know, a lot of them kind of get boring. Although I did like Infected and all of those game modes like that. But I came up with one. I couldn't really think of any more creative. But Hostage Mode. Um, you get to save a teammate from the base of the enemy. Basically, when you go online and you go to Hostage Mode, a random player, like on Infected, gets selected as the hostage. And he's trapped in a room. And he can't move, shoot, or anything. He has to sit there while all of the enemies are surrounded you know surrounding him and it can be played like search and destroy where you only have one life one chance to save you know the hostage 
and you can shoot the hostage it would be bad if you did you know maybe traders could come in I don't know if that would be a good idea or not but it'd be harder if you could accidentally shoot the hostage and he'd die and then you know lose that round but basically you know you and all your teammates have to go in and try to save the hostage you know you shoot all the people and then untie them and then bam you win that round and then one of the enemies get selected as a hostage and you keep doing the same thing or maybe each team has a hostage something like that that would be a pretty cool game mode that I came up with maybe they will do something like that in the future um, I'd also like to see create a map and host servers things like that um, basically you can create a map and host it in a private match you know like for game battles um, you can download maps too you can download and save created maps to your disk and then you can select all those maps in a different game or something like in a different console so basically you know you create your map do a whole level design maybe on the computer or on your console maybe both and uh, you can design pretty much all you want they have all the items props and everything for throwback you can take uh, things you like out of World at War and add it in to that game. You can take things out of each game and put it in, you know, a spot. Build a bunch of cool obstacles and everything, and it'd be pretty awesome to make your own map and it'd be really creative. Um, I'd like to see better maps, like maybe underwater maps. Uh, sorry, I had an interruption, but as I was saying. Um, I'd like to see, you know, a bigger variety of maps and bigger ones. Um, I'd like to see an underwater map. They've used it in the campaign before where you can, you know, be like in a dive suit kind of thing. You go underwater and shoot people. But that would be an awesome map to, you know, play on the game online. You know, underwater. That's awesome. How about, um, inside of... A burning building and you know live action stuff can happen uh, wooden things can fall and you know hurt your player and kill them stuff like that uh, I'd like to see a new addition to theater mode where you can select a cinematic version you know they're adding in in black ops 2 where you can see all your awesome highlights but I'd like to see a cinematic version and you can make better machinima videos where uh, you basically everything it's put in like a movie maybe you can switch things around change up the angles and everything and then save it and then you re you can record it with your HD PVR or whatever you know add in um, gaming audio not gaming audio but oh but uh, voice acting and stuff like that and then upload it to YouTube and be a cool like video game movie um I'd like to see better servers, you know, a lot of people are always complaining. Um, I don't really like the idea that, you know, a player has to use his own internet connection to host a game. I'm pretty sure that's how it is, you know, because they always have that host migration thing and everything. But it would be better if they had a... Um, I'd also like to see where they increase the DLC to where they sell... Where they sell uh, more things in a package, you know, Black Ops, I believe they had five DLC packs, and they each cost like $15. That's a huge chunk of money if you don't have Call of Duty of Elite, and they didn't even have that for Black Ops, but maybe they could, instead of selling five, they could sell two, where it has uh, basically half of two and a half you know two and a half map packs where they'd sell two two and a half map packs you know stuff like that you know maybe they have like ten maps on it a couple of zombie maps stuff like that that would be a better deal you know maybe it'll cost like twenty dollars for each one but I'm tired of having to go to Walmart and buying those PSN cards or whatever or gamer points and purchasing tons and tons of map packs when 
they could put it in a huge pack for maybe twenty twenty five dollars that'd be a better deal um, I'd also like to see different versions of zombies um, maybe you can change up the game mode a little bit like on the multiplayer that'd be cool you know there's an objective you have to do but there's zombies everywhere trying to kill you while you're <laughs> working on it I'd like to see a mode where you can kill zombies with just one headshot because you know in almost every movie whenever you shoot a zombie in the head you know it destroys their brain and they're instantly dead uh, Call of Duty made it where man those zombies get stronger and stronger and they just act freaky you know I just want to shoot them in the head and bam that zombie's gone you know maybe more more and more zombies in one area at a time but one headshot can kill it and then kill as many as possible in a certain time frame uh, maybe you have like 20 minutes to kill as many zombies as you can to advance to the next round or just how many zombies you can kill in that limited time you know stuff like that I'd also like to see a zombies campaign and I believe they are having a zombies campaign in Black Ops 2 so that'd be really cool to see um, maybe they can start doing more stuff like that and then an open world Call of Duty Zombies game you know like DayZ something like that that would be very awesome and I'm pretty sure it'd be a huge seller for the con uh, Call of Duty franchise um, you can go around revive your friends uh, try to survive against enemy players and zombies so that'd be really cool uh, I think these ideas would you know freshen up the Call of Duty franchise and maybe make you know things better and more entertaining so I hope you like my ideas guys and if you did please drop a like comment and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos thanks for watching